Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change a fan motor in a 66 Chevy pickup truck. Here's the shop service manual. Get the page to turn. Go. Go. There it is. Alright, I have the thrift air system and there's the motor stuck on the bottom of the heater cord. Flip it over. And according to this little picture right here, there's this motor the fan on top of it. This motor right here. Got this one from LMC truck. You can see. It's new. It's very nice looking. It spins like it should. Which is a big plus. So, we're here in my truck. I've already started. Got a little bit done. See? It's right here on the bottom. Down under here, this bad boy. Right here. First thing you gotta do is take the power wire loose. Which I took and probably tucked it up out of the way. It's got a plug back under here back in the back where you can't quite see it um, there's five Phillips screw Phillips screws holding on these little buggers I had to take and hit the screwdriver with the ball peen hammer to get enough force in there to pop them free so let me take the other four out and I'll show you what the motor looks like when it slides out of there so, see you in a minute Hey everyone, I'm back. Got the old motor out. You see, it's greasy. Here's the uh, fit or the mail plug for the wires telling you about this hat in the back. And the scroll cage fan. It's not very pretty looking, but then again, it's been stuck in a truck for 44 years, so not gonna complain. What I gotta do next is well, let me see. You gotta take this nut right here off my boots, 5 sixteenths. Take that off, and then fan should slide right off the shaft. Now put on this one and clean up the decent ground on it. Then clamp the ground back on the truck and see what see if we can get it to work. So see if you want to get these fans switched over. Alright, um back. Got it apart. Had to use the hammer again for a little persuasion. And got all the hardware off uh, the old motor shaft here. Got three of these real thin little nylon washers. I'm going to put those on there on the new motor shaft. This copper bushing and then a uh, retainer. Just got to go with the concave side down push it on there you know keep your all that stuff from sliding off put the motor fan back on there and the nut and plus I'm going to sand a couple of these holes never on the truck get a good ground so let me throw this together and I'll show you how it all looks once it's put back together on the motor shaft all right here we go got it reassembled nut tightened down pop up right there let's see Spins pretty good. Hooked it up to the battery on the truck and it does work. About will tear itself out of your hands if you're not careful. Um, but let's go toss it back in the truck. Let's see if I have heat again. So I'm tired of freezing my feet every time I drive somewhere. Alright, here's the finished product. Got everything reassembled, buttoned back up. There's orange wire I was telling you about earlier. New plug in the motor. See, it's in there. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Um, Walking on the other side. Power in. I already got the ignition turned on. Alright, thrift air probably gets a knob. So, we want to take and pull it out. That's your temperature control. I'm going to turn it. Here's, here's low. There's, there's medium. A little bit of a vibration, but once you're rumbling down the road, that ain't gonna matter. And finally, ha! As you can see, it's moving. Or, you can't see. I can feel it though. It's moving quite a bit of air. So, turn that off. Push it back in. That means I can run front 
retire my impromptu defroster. So, thanks for watching. And now you know how to change your heater motor for a 60 to 66 Chevy. Doesn't matter what that part is. It's got the motors are the same. Y'all have a good one.